Mheshimiwa Gavana mtarajiwa John Munyesi Kionga nataka kuchukua hii fursa kukujulisha wale ambao wamealikwa katika sherehe hii ya kulaunch manifesto yako na kwa ishara ya mikono tu tafadhali nikiita grupu yako unainua tu mkono ndio mheshimiwa gavana ajue mnatoka wapi grupu ya kwanza ambayo tulijaribu ku invite katika hii manifesto launch ni Turkana Council of Elders kiongozi wa na na mea Lorogoi Asante Advisory Council of Elders ya Governor John Munyeski Yonga kiongezwa na Mheshimiwa Imana Kenya National Union of Teachers led by Mheshimiwa Ewart Asante sana A uh, TPA wana TPA wako Members Eh hey, naona na Kiporo hapo naona Eris hapo Eh hey, naona Los Angeles hapo mimi peke yangu ndio sio sio member ya TPA Turkana Rude Manikwar ako Aya People living with disabilities Kiongozi wa kampeni yao mwalimu Asante sana Minority Minority group ya minority Turkana Central hapa Lodwa Yes well presented Drivers Chamani yao ni Maxwell Kijana wa John Munyeski Yonga Bado bado wako Eh hey, unajua wako wengi mapikipiki iko saidi ya 20 huko nje Commerce Ah, yeah. County Livestock Marketing Council Agna toko wako wapi Ah yeah. Asante Natogo Fresh Fish Market Pastors Fellowship Wachungaji wenye wako wapo wote Wachungaji Asante House of Bishops Chamani yao wako lokicha risai Kupata na mfasi kurudi Mama Mboga Yes Mwishimu yao ni watu wako Wabunge Kuna wabunge o yote hapa Minajua kampeni mekua kali Lapa ndiyo maana wako mani MCS wote ambao wenye wako hapa Asante Seneta Natumai Seneta tulimuacho lokicha rejana ni kama ameshikamana pale Women rep Asante Deputy Governor Najua hako barabarani Jana ni kama alikuja subui sana Siku ya leo kwa sababu alikuwa mkutano huko kangatoza Aya Kuna afili ya ziyote mali hapa? Yani wenye wameungana na jubilee Watu kama Democratic Congress, PNU Aya Hawezi <laughs> kujalika Sindio Ye ni bibi arusi Ya siku ya leo Kwa hivyo nataka kuchukua ifurusa Tena Kumkaribisha ndugu yangu Linus Ebenye yukuwa muna kiporo Atuambie ni kwanini tuko mali hapa Habari ya jioni Karibu ni sana E, tuko hapa e, jioni hii kwa sababu moja 
kwamba katika safari ya kutaka kuongoza watu ama kuongoza jimbo kama ile ile tunaturukana ukigombea kutaka uongozi inafaa katika kanuni za kimataifa na hata hapa Kenya kwamba unapanga ruwaza yako ama vision ama manifesto ili wale unataka kuongoza waone ni mipangilio gani uko nayo kwa maendeleo ya watu waturukana kwa miaka tano ile unauliza kuongoza hiyo ndiyo sababu tuko hapa leo kwa hivyo tumeitwa hapa na tumekaribishwa na gavana wetu mtarajiwa mheshimiwa John Munyes ili tuwe mashahidi leo hapa tuwe mashahidi ya kuzinduliwa kwa manifesto yake ili tukitoka hapa tuko na copies tuko na eh, nakala kadhaa kila mtu anaweza enda na nakala yake apeleke nyumbani tuko na ile tunaita soft copy tutashare kwa social media ili watu wetu wote kutoka Turukana wanaweza pata nafasi ya kusoma hata wale wako kule kwingine Kenya na nje ya nje ya Kenya wanaweza soma hiyo ndiyo sababu tuko hapo kwa hivyo ni sababu muhimu na ni siku muhimu kwake pia inatoa nafasi kwake kujeta mbele yenu kuonyesha hazima yake kuonyesha ni kwa nini anataka kuongoza i am very sure kwa zile siku mbili tatu kadhaa ziko mbele hakuna gavana mwingine ule anauliza kuongoza turukana atakuwa na nafasi kama hiyo kwa hivyo hii inatuweka mbele inamaanisha kwamba gavana mwenyewe ako na mipangilio inamaanisha kwamba ako na plan inamaanisha kwamba gavana mwenyewe ako na plan hiyo ndio muhimu basi kwa sababu hiyo so kutoka hapo sasa kwa sababu ya muda pia kwa sababu tuko na session ya media tunataka tuendelee na speeches and i'm happy to see our two mcs the host mcs around first we will want to invite the mca a candidate for township ward ndugu yangu iba please kuja tumesema ni kwa sababu gani tuko hapa jaribu kusema machache alafu tuta invite mwingine tuendelee namna hiyo gavana wetu mtarajiwa bwana john munyesi kionga viongozi wote mlioko hapa vikundi vyote ambazo tume zimetajwa hapa amjambo amjambo tena bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe mokozi asante sana yangu itakuwa ni machache tu kwanza objective yetu ni moja hiyo objective ni kuhakikisha kwamba john munyesi kionga ameform the next government si ni kweli tunakubaliana hiyo ndio objective yetu sisi zote hapa na ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba gavana wetu ameweza kutengeneza serikali tunashukuru sana kwa the strategic team ambayo imeweza kutuweka hapa siku ya leo wametengeneza kitu inaitwa manifesto hii manifesto ndio inaonyesha ina, ina yale malengo ambayo gavana wetu ako nayo ili kupeleka Turukana kaunti mbele na mimi ni moja wale tulikuwa tunauliza sana kwamba wapi manifesto yetu kwa sababu mimi najua nimekuwa nikisikiza mzee yale ambayo anataka kuyafanya na leo ni siku kuu kwa sababu tutaweza kuinterrogate ile manifesto mzee ametengeneza ili tuweze kuidomesticate tuweze kujua hata tukienda kuongea na watu tunawaeleza kwamba Mwenyezi atafanya nini ili kuboresha maisha yetu sisi zote si ni ukweli so mimi nawakaribisha kwa niaba ya watu wa Lodwa Township najua tuko katika ward ya ndugu yangu eh, Didimas kwa niaba ya watu wa Lodwa Township feel free tuchangie wakati watatuonyesha hapa wata display hapa let wacha iwe an interactive session so that ni nini hii ambayo captain wetu John Munyesi Kionga anataka kufanya. Asanteni sana Mungu wabariki. Sasa tutamkaribisha pia eh, the honorable Lokomwa candidate for Kanam Kemeru Ward. 
pia kuja kusema machache all protocol observed amjambo i think uh, first of all this is an opportunity for our governor uh honorable john munyesi kionga to share his vision with us na tunajua kwamba tangu tuanze hii siasa mpaka leo hakuna mwanasiasa yeyote wa ile levo ya mheshimiwa wetu ambaye ameongea ama ame display yale anataka kutufanyia sisi kama waturkana kila mtu anangangana jinsi ya kununua watu ya kuweka watu kwa ile njia wanataka lakini mimi nashukuru gavana wetu kwa kuchukua hii fursa ili aweze kusungumza na sisi ili na sisi tukiwa mali hapa tukue na jambo ambalo tatumia kumshika ile wakati atapata uongozi maana sisi tunajua kwamba tuko na siku kumi ya kuapisha gavana wetu mpendwa na John Munyesi Kionga ili aweze kuenda kutufanyia sisi kazi in fact kulingana na ile maongezi yetu ya kawaida iki ile kama kuna jambo ambalo mimi naweza kufurahi leo na nisikie kutoka kwa kinywa chake ni yale maneno ambayo tumesema amesema kwamba mambo ya elimu kwamba tutakuwa na nafasi muhimu ya kupigania maneno ya shule maana sisi wote tunajua kwamba education is the only equalizer ambayo itaweza saidia wewe we, we, utasaidia nani hata yule mtoto wa maskini aweze kuwa na sehemu ile ni sawa na yule mtoto mwingine na sisi wote tunajua kwamba waturkana wengi saa hii hawana ile uwezo wa kujitetea kimasomo yani kulipia watoto yao karo na kulingana na ile maneno kidogo nimesikia kando kwamba mheshimiwa wetu anataka kuhakikisha kwamba ametenga pesa ambayo inafaa ambayo itatosha kwa sababu ama kwa sababu ya minajili ya education basi mimi nafurahi kutoka hapo na mimi sitaki niingie yale mambo mengi ambayo ataenda kuongelea lakini ningependa tu kuomba sisi wote tupate nafasi ili tuweze kuchangia hii mjadala hii, hii manifesto kulingana na yale maneno yatayosungumziwa leo ya mwisho kabisa ningependa kualika nyinyi wote katika hii ward yetu ya Kanamkemer ili tuweze kusikiza tena kwa umakinivu sana yale maneno mkubwa wetu ataenda kuzungumza hapa ili wakati tutaenda nyumbani twende tuambie watu ili tuache hii mambo ya kunu, watu watu wengine wanapenda kuongea aina ya ngaenga loto ngichato aki ana krona penye nataka penyu kidha kia ni loza kanike tutokea na kro eta nake ana wanekanike bwana zivue ayini atamare au keye mal akwa bwana ifanyere kama najua kama sisi wote tunajua kwamba kuna mali sisi tunaongelea watu wana, wanapenda vitena ni hapa town watu wanapenda ruma tunataka mheshimiwa wetu aongee ili sisi tuziende kuongea propaganda twende tuongee ile maneno yamesungumzida ya tarehe tisa kuna jambo ya kuambia watu wetu wacha Mungu awabariki asante sana mheshimiwa Didi Maslokomwa ningependa kuchukua ipi ya fursa kukaribisha ma MCS wetu ambao wametoka nje ya Turkana Central Constituency kiongozwa na Mheshimiwa Patrick Eskoku Imana kama nyote mtaweza kuja upande kwa sababu Patrick ndio majority leader yetu ya jubilee katika county assembly ya Turkana sasa atawapatia nafasi alavyo yamalisia <laughs> yeah, asante eh kwa sababu amesema nitakuwa mahali wacha nipatie nafasi kwanza asante ah uh, bari watu wote mimi kwa majina mimi naitwa Ismail Godfrey aspirant uh, MCA Lobey Kotaru under Jubilee party ticket ah uh, nilikwenda kusema ah uh, mimi nashukuru kwa ile mpango timu ya mheshimiwa Mnyes wako nayo 
kwa sababu which means Mheshimiwa Mnyes anajiamini kuwa baada ya siku atachukua serikali. Hii ni njia moja ya kutu. ile kitu ambaye tunaenda kufanya baada ya siku tisa ndio ile kitu anachoambia saa hizi baada ya dakika chache. Pengine nitaongeza kitu kimoja. Mheshimiwa Governor ambaye ni Mnyes amekuwa kisisitiza sana juu ya ya njaa ambaye imekuwa ikini ambaye imekuwa trukwana tangu baada ya baada hata ya kupata ya kupata devolution ndio nikasema mimi naomba mheshimiwa Mwenyezi ukiingia unaweza tenga hata bilioni moja kila mtu mtu kila mtu kana apate hata kama ni kwa kadi ama apate hata kama ni pesa cash kupunguza hiyo ukiendelea na ma, na ma program zingine ama development na pesa zingine ambaye itabaki kwa ile pesa serikali kuu italeta at least watu wawe me ile kitu ya mwisho ambaye naweza ongeza timu ya mnyes ni timu ambaye iko strong lakini unaona uh, unaona upepo ambaye inapitia kando yako una yani una, una feel kama uwezi lakini sisi wote tuki, tukiwa na na, na roho kama ya mnyes ile ya kujiamini sisi tutaweza na tutashinda tarehe tisa asubuhi Kuna kitu ambaye huwa najiuliza ambaye nitanisa hii. Pengine kama nitakuwa nimetoka kando utanisamea. Kuna watu kwa hii team. Na watu kwa hii team wanajuani wako na wako na nguvu ya kutusaidia. Lakini ni kama unaweka mguu mmoja huku mwingine hapa. Kwa sababu kama huko hapa hivi mbona tuoni ile kitu una unachangia kwa hii team? hii kitu nimekuwa nikijiuliza kama ni kusaidia mnyesi tusaidie mnyesi kwa sababu ikifika baada ya tarehe kumi maneno ya kusema wao oh, nani ndio ya kulamiana baadaye ya kulaumiana baadaye wacha tu, tuondoe hiyo maneno saa hii kama ni kusupport tulete support yote yako yote tumsaidie mnyesi asante sana eh, asante sana So uh, uh, governor mtarajiwa women rep wale council of elders wako hapa advisors community ya Turkana especially wale wametoka Lodwa uh, mimi ni sitting MCS wa Lukiria Malorengi ward nimekuwa katika bunge hii kwa muula mbili So ninaelewa yale yako katika hii kaunti. Nataka kusema mambo machache kwa niaba ya wale MCS wengine wako hapa. Wale 20 na na nne hivi. Hata mimi nimerudi kutoka kampeni jana. So nataka kusema machache na nashukuru wale wameandaa hii mkutano wa ku launch manifesto. Nataka kusema hivi bwana governor manifesto ni ni vile wewe unataka kuongoza serikali. Na ni ukweli wakati utaingia katika serikali ya county utapata na document inaitwa County Integrated Development Plan ambaye itakuwa imejumuisha mambo ya Turkana yote kwa hiyo document. Na nataka kusema kuwa utafanikiwa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Na nataka kwa sababu na wale wafanyikazi wa serikali I want you to share this document of yours with those who are writing that CIDP plan sababu utaongoza watu kulingana na yale uh, matarajio umeweka let them include what you think in that development plan sababu wewe ndio utaongoza kuwa governor hakuna mwingine yale mengine nataka kusema 
nataka kusema kwa wale wakaji wa Kana Mkemeri na Ludo Township yule jamaa anasema anataka kuwa governor yule jamaa wa ODM tunamuite Loima eh, Simon Ma, Simon Makonde ni jamaa unataka kuwa MCA mara moja unataka kuwa MP unataka kuwa MP unataka kuwa governor mara moja sasa president ji mara moja wewe utakuwa anaitwa nani Simon Makonde huyo mtu huyo mtu ana ana ile plan ana plan ya kuongoza tu ni kujaribu kutafuta ile inaitwa wacha nijaribu kama nitaweza sisi kama loima tunatafuta kwa na saa hii tuna zero down tuna zero down na hiyo mtaona sababu yeye anasema kura yake iko central sasa nyinyi watu wa central ni watu wa central mtu ni mjumbe wa central ama ni mjumbe wa loima you must rise up to the occasion is experience uh, guy is as worked with government na anajua shida ya wananchi tangu uwezi kuambia mimi nikimbie ni simame governor na mimi sijuado sijaelewa hata nini nahitajika kwa watu kama kina Ambrose kama Loulio Jeremy is like me so lazima tuachie wale watu wako mbele yetu nafasi wa tuongoze alafu sisi tutakuja baadaye anataka na ngojee mimi tusimame na hiyo governor baadaye 2020 you have go 2022 <laughs> tumenyana na hiyo pande hiyo wakati hiyo so professionals you must rise to the occasion professionals nyinyi ndio mtapata kazi nyinyi ndio mtafanya kila kitu sasa wakati hautaonekana katika mambo ya campaign na mambo ya kusaidia governor aingie tunaachia wale watu tu youth wale wa hapo katikati ni wanamenyana sisi tunuko baksi nani atakuwa CC nani atakuwa chief officer nani atakuwa director wakati hiyo ndio utaanza kupitisha karatasi yako chini ya meza amuka tukuone nani tusaidiane ndio na tusaidiane kwa sababu ya resources pia mambo ya kusimama governor si kitu rahisi utachoka kutumia mali yako mpaka utaanza kusema ala kumbe hiki tulikuwa ni kujimaliza let's help to yes to win this seat on 9 of August 2022 asante sana asante sana mheshimiwa Patrick Imana mtarajiwa mbunge wa Turkana Central la yuko mali hapa mama Joyce Manikwar na ningechukua fursa kumkaribisha women rep wetu ambaye atashinda tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. Mheshimiwa Susan Amla Katia. Karibu mheshimiwa. Uh, the incoming governor Your Excellency John Munyoski Kionga. I hope I'm audible. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Aya wacha nijaribu tena. Nasema the incoming governor Your Excellency John Munyeski Yonga the advisory the council of elders the strategy team that has put this together on behalf of the principal who is the governor the members of the media the professionals of Turkana County who are today and the different community members that are represented here good evening uh, your excellency i want to take this opportunity to congratulate you for bringing us together so that we can listen to you 
and witness the unveiling of your vision to the people of Turkana County. So, Your Excellency, congratulations. <laughs> Secondly, I also want to congratulate you and the team that planned for all this. What I see across the room is a team of people that have, drawn, that have been drawn from different uh, sectors. And this already demonstrates that your government is going to be a very inclusive government. So thank you very much because of that. Kwa sababu tunapoona professionals, tunapoona doctors, kwa hii room, tukiona young ladies, young men, tunona mama mboga pia. Karibu ninataka kusema sisi ndio eh, watu wa wenye tukona hiyo mambo wenye watu wengine wanasema ambayo kusema. Si mnaelewa hiyo? Eh, sisi ni kama ndio tume Jumuisha hiyo kabisa kwa sababu tumeweza kualika kila mtu aweze kushuhudia mambo ambayo umetutayarishia kama gavana wa Turkana wa pili na nataka kusema asante sana kile tu ningependa kusema your excellency ni kwamba uh, ninatambua ya kwamba wewe uko na mzigo mzito sana ya waturkana na si waturkana tu wa town Uko na mzigo msito pia kwa sababu ya watrukana ambao ni wafugaji. Wale ambao wako kule nje. Wale ambao wako katika sekta ya samaki. Wale ambao agriculture. Na ninajua kupitia maongezi yako ambayo nimeweza kufuatilia na kusikia wakati tuluko katika kampeni zetu. Inanifurahia kujua kwamba tunapata gavana anaelewa watu ambao wanaishi trukana kuanzia wale ambao wako town pamoja na wale ambao wako pale vijijini ama uko reserve na nataka kusema kwamba hakika wewe ndiye gavana unayetoshea kupata nafasi ya kuweza kuongoza Turkana kwa sababu ya ile experience ambayo uko nayo kwa sababu ya ule ile ile uh, faith ama the trust that you have even from the government the government of Kenya different levels of leadership have given you before you know a mantle to be part of the top leadership of this country and that means that your excellency you are a very trusted person and so if the government of Kenya can trust you how I wish that the Turkana people can actually trust you even more and it is my heart to embrace John Munez Kionga because he is a trustworthy person. If we need someone who can unite this divided county, then the solution lies with John Munez Kiyonga. <laughs> and so your excellency, even as you prepare to unveil your vision to the people of Turkana today, my point, after the counting of the votes, as soon as our government will take office, the first assignment that we have, Your Excellency, is for us to look at the CIDP and ensure that everything that you have recorded in your vision today is actually captured in that good book that will be leading or that will be the blueprint of development for this county in the next five years. So it is my humble cry that we will put together a strategy team of course, led by the, the strategy team that you currently have, so that they can ensure that the blueprint of this county is inclusive and it has taken aboard your vision. So, Your Excellency, I want to thank you very much and, of course, to sincerely thank the strategy team that took its time and, and, and really labored to have us with this document this evening. And, Your Excellency, I want to say that please let this continue in our future forums that we will be having in this county, whether we are developing uh, uh, policies, whether we are developing budgets, it is my prayer as the woman representative of this county come August that actually what I'm seeing across the room, the women and the youth of this county will take an active role in participating in matters development of this county. Having said that, Your Excellency, I want to say thank you very much. 
and congratulations once again. Asante sana mheshimiwa mtarajiwa women rep Susana Mlango Aletia. Ningependa pia kuchukua hii fursa kumkaribisha ali, eh, aliyekuwa mstaiki mea ya Lord wa Township ambaye pia ni chairman ya county elders. Karibu mheshimiwa Bwana asipiwe. Kwa majina ni Charles Lorugo Yejore. Mimi ndio chairman ya Kanzo Bell. Yale ningependa kusema ni kwamba hii ni siku muhimu kwetu sisi kupata mtu ambaye anataka kutupatia many pesa wake wakati wa leo shukani kwa gapana wa pili turkana county ah uh, mwezi magapana mtarajiwa wewe sio mtu ambaye wa turkana wanaweza kudoubt kwamba wataku wewe ndio ukawa minister wa kwanza turkana wengine walikuweko waje kwa minister Sisi kupata mtu maarufu turkana hii wewe ndio umekuwa mtu wa kwanza kununua ndege ambaye tunafikiria ndege ni ngumu kununuliwa wewe ni mtu wa wewe ni mtu ya ajabu minister wa kwanza mtu aliyonunua ndege ambayo tunafikiria ni wazungu ndio watanunua ni wewe ndio ununua ndege Ni nini kitu kingine ambaye waturkana mtaenda kudoubt kwamba atakuja kufanya nini atakuja kuficha Nataka niwaambie Huyu mtu nimekuja kupananisha na neno moja ambaye niliona kwa Biblia Watu wanasema Mwenyezi ni mdhaifu ni mwanda pole Hawachapi watu Hawa tukwani watu, hanyangani watu vitu yao. Bibiria na niambia kumba, kwa nini mungu anawaini wa wadhaifu? Hili wenye ekima, wajibike. Hama na managani wajungaji? Si bibiria, mjungaji, ni kweli? Mungu anawaini wa wadhaifu, hili wenye ekima, wajibike. Hii mutu mwenda pole, amekua minister wa wakwanza, turukwana county. Minister wa wakwanza, turukwana county. Hakuna mungine? Ya pili, amenuwa ndegi. Yaani hai mtu ni mandopa mwalimu aliyokuwa deputy governor ya governor mwingine hapa mimi nimemuita yeye huyu ambaye alitoka huyu ndiye anaitwa mkombozi kwa hivyo walimu tabarini mchika huyu mtu mkono elia mali pale mwa hapa ambaye ni nani turkana sisi kabila lingine Gogo si mama. Huyu mtu alifunza mimi. Nilipotoka reserve akanichika nikiwa na paa chuka na kaswali. Alinisomesha mpaka nikaenda Bible school Kisumu miaka mitatu nikawa na dipu. Yusi kijana yangu ameenda kuchukua msichana wake. Hiki kijana yangu anaita Maombi ili anafanya kakuma KCB. Hakuwa na mtoto wake. Mimi nimepata mali kwake hakuna deni anandai. Nataka ni plus MCA wake. Nita kudai hiyo kwa sababu huna deni unandai na lomenen. Lome kwa sababu ikiona mtu ya mtu ya watu wa class 1. Walimu mtu ya darasa la hata wacha niseme darasa la 8 utakuja kufunza university na manaka ama secondary. Inawezekana? Inawezekana. Nataka ni wambia kwamba mimi mkinipatia mnyesi. Sisi wase tutaka chini ya miti. Tunabia la saro. Kwanda pia mnyesi tunata. Kuru kwa sisi wengine. 
mimi ziombi kura ya mtu mwingine acha niwaambie mzizeme kwa nini mzee ajaomba hapana nitaomba kura ya mwenyezi uteremka chini mnasikia eh hey! mimi nilipika na kura ya dp ili ninyi mkae hapa chama yangu akano alikuwa anaambia apokuza watu watoke lakini mimi nikapigana nikajitoa nikapigana ya ninyi na ninyi saa hii mimi naona wengine wanasema oh tupigie mtu ya tupigie msipopigia mwenyezi mtapata shida msipopigia mwenyezi mtapata shida kwa sababu kuna watu ambao watakuja kupunguza ninyi mahali hapa kwa kunyang'anya nini ndio ardhi yenu ile maploti mimi ambaye nimewapatia mimi ndio niliwapatia ninyi maploti hapa juzi ndio mkapewa kana mkemeri lakini ya town mimi nilawapatia. Mimi sina hata plot moja town. Hata Lazaro ako na mmoja tu peke yake. Lakini ninyi niliwapatia maplot. Hata semeji yangu nilipatia plot. Usikataye nikiwa hapa. <laughs> Mimi nataka kuambia ninyi wa Kikuyu. Yaluo. Omera. Iwaji ni ya. Ama ni wagia kijaluo? Asante. <laughs> nataka niwaambie ninyi ninyi ambaye Mnataka kuangalia tu ati kwa sababu Raila yuko huko juu. Nataka niwaambie wewe 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 ndugu yangu jaluo. Pigia tu Raila yako. Kura yako lakini patia mwenyezi yake. Mtu yako alitukosea akatuletea mtu ya darasa la moja akaacha mtu ya university. Nataka niwaambie tu wazi. Mimi najua madago ranji rakajulu mali ambayo huyu mtu amesikwa baba yake amenikosea sana mimi najua kijaluo nataka nikwambie huyu mtu ametukosea kwa sababu serikali yetu amesema tuungane pamoja mimi ni kanu nimeumba nimeunga ibili akatukosea mwenyezi akatukosea mwenyezi hii ni kilio kwangu nataka hii mambo ipikie kwa rais kwamba yeye alituletea al mtoto daraza la a, kwanza daraza la pili daraza la tatu kabla hajamaliza hata daraza la nne anakuwa hapa na namna gani atakuwa kapana namna gani mtu ya pita tunataka mtu mwenda pole mwenda pole afanye nini hajikwae kwa hivyo huyu mtu ako na ujuzi ako na ujuzi akotoja atapana isiki kwa kila mtu sio kwa sio kwake peke yake kura ya mwenyezi iko nosi hata mkicheza mahali hapa kura ya mwenyezi kuanzia huko yote tulienda na yeye mpaka mpaka yote amecheka hivi. Ama namna gani kijana? Eh, yote kwa mkononi. Tunakuja gawanya ya hapa kana mkemeri town. Tunaongezea gani? Na mheshimiwa Imana atelete ya wapi? Ya Loima. Kwani class 1 atelete ni kutoka huko. Atapita kweli? Si mwenyezi ndio atapita? Usipoteza kura yako. Na tulichika walimu wote. Toka hapa, ori hai. Eri hapa tuwe mlio. Angalia. Na kwa ameku ya atalete yote. Haya, hizi alikuwa hapa wapi yeye? Nyaleti. Loka la bala nyari kany. Eh hey, ndio huyo. Yupo nyiki ndio huyo hatari. Kama tum, kama tumeleta huyu. Mwezi wa Mwezi. Wewe kwa watu. Wale watu walikuwa nakataa wewe ndio huyu. Mimi, mwalimu na wengine. Wote tumeingia kwa kwa boti ya nani ya mwenyezi ile ile safina ama namna gani huyu umen rep analeta yake kutoka wapi umen rep akura na kunia ai twani be la menenea mitongo yao kumia ka telefo tara makuri asante asante mungu awabariki mnaheshimu sasa kunipatia kura patia kura ya mwenyezi tabadali mkinipatia hiyo artuki ni angaje ni pakala puru asante sana chairman ya county elders ah uh, ni chukue hii nafasi tena governor mtarajiwa john mwenyezi kionga wengi ambaye hawajui gavana wetu sana pengine wanajua tu juu juu Mheshimiwa John Munyeski Yonga
alizaliwa alizaliwa mwaka wa 1966 1966 ali attend lokitko ali pita akapelekwa lodwa high school ambiwa nipande juu hapo kwa sababu Yes, thank you. Alipita akaelekea Lodwa High School. Akafanya hao level. Akafanya A level. Baadaye akaingia chuo cha akapata degree yake. Na baadaye alipata kazi mara ya kwanza mwaka wa 1989 mpaka 1999 mapema uh, na kampuni ya Oxfam kama Oxfam program manager ambaye alisimamia the greater Turkana North Turkana North ya sasa na Turkana West na hiyo pia ilikuwa inakafa pia huko Karamoja Mwaka wa 1997 aliingia katika siasa na akakuwa mjumbe wa Turkana North the Greater North kwa miaka 20 akiwa mbunge kwa miaka 20 can you imagine that pia katika ngazi za juu ya kitaifa alichaguliwa kuwa assistant minister ya ministry of water kwa kitaifa kama minister ya special programs under kibaki government office of the president baadaye pia akachaguliwa kuwa minister ya labor basi baadaye pia akakuja akashinda tikiti ya kuwa senator ya Turkana alichaguliwa pia kuwa cabinet secretary wa kwanza wa Turkana. Unajua ile ilikuwa minister. Hii juzi ilikuwa cabinet secretary ya petroleum na mining. Bwana sifiwe. Nilisema nitasema tu fupi. Sitaki kuingia sana. Nikiingia sana alifanya nini? Achievements yake itakuwa usiku lakini tuna promise ya kwamba online tutatuma documents kwa online na kila mtu atasomea ni nini kwa sababu kuna watu wanazema ati hajafanya chochote kwa hivyo kuna mambo mengi ambaye imeandaliwa na tutaweka online pamoja na manifesto wakati ataanza atamaliza ku launch waya machache ningependa kuchukua nafasi kumkaribisha ndugu yangu uh, line ningependa ndugu zangu na dada zangu wale tumesaidia governor Munyes katika kufanya hii kazi yote na kufanikisha hii e, manifesto kuwa tayari wasimame mahali wako tafadhali sana e, chairman Eris make we sit simama huko e, wao pia ndio E, tunawaita sasa county strategy team pia county strategy team wasimame tafadhali e, Mr. Aleta simama niliona daktari I mean rafiki yangu Ethir von Willi nafikiri yuko hapa Bas hawa ndio wangwana yale mawazo yako ndani ya hii document tunazindua leo ni fikira na mipangilio kazi yetu ilikuwa ni kusaidia tu kupanga ikae sambamba sio mipangilio yetu ni mipangilio yake mwenyewe na ni ideas yake mwenyewe sisi kazi yetu ilikuwa ni kumsaidia tu kuhakikisha inafuatana na ruaza ya Kenya ya Afrika ya Turkana na vijijini kule tumetoka so kule pale rafiki yangu anaitwa Mark Ewkalikatilu asante sana ndugu yangu Chris Aleta mnamjua amekuwa waziri wa county na pia ni kiongozi kutoka Loima fu e, ndugu yangu Joshua Lonyaman Angelei pia ametusaidia sana katika hii kazi natoka Turkana East 
alafu dada yangu Anne kama is ametusaidia sana ametiko na ideas na kujaribu kurembesha kazi asante sana Dr Longora ora anafunza university kule Maseno kwa hivyo na pia wale hawako hapa tuko madaktari karibu wangapi tuko na madaktari karibu watatu wanne pia pia wamekuwa kusaidia kwa hii kazi na professors pia kwa hivyo wale watu wote wametusaidia hapa wametusaidia hapa wame... kwa hiyo kazi hata wale wanasomea PhD kama mimi pia tumekuwa hapo kuendelea kusaidia hiyo kazi basi ndugu yangu William Lotengei pia amesaidia sana ku contextualize hizo plans zote so karibu Christopher ambaye pia ndio campaign manager by the way sisi hatutaki kujitangaza tuko na hatutaki mambo ya kujitangaza sana amesaidia asante sana huyu anaitwa Thomas Kionga huyu kijana ana nguvu mingi sana akona ideas ya kutusaidia kuchapisha kazi yetu kila mahali social media hakuna campaign ya 2022 ambayo imetangazwa vizuri social media na online kushinda ya mwenyezi hakuna ni yeye ametusaidia hiyo kazi Ezekiel Lobwin pia ana umaarufu mingi na ametusaidia sana pia kutengeneza hii kazi karibu sana man Eris ndio amekuwa team leader wetu lazima e, dunia ijue ametusaidia wakati tunakaa anatupanga na kisha tunafanya mambo kulingana na time na kumanage hiyo kazi yote so karibu sana ndugu yangu e, ule wakati tulikuwa tunangoja sasa umefika ningependa kwa heshima na taadhima wa pili aliye na uzoefu na ambayo yuko campaign trail actually doing our home stretch i want to acknowledge the presence of the council of elders the advisory team the chamber of commerce teachers union to kind of profess our women representative for attending this meeting i also want to thank the MCS candidates who are attending this, this this launch ladies and gentlemen the manifesto we launch today captures what we in jubilee party together with my deputy governor plan to do to move our country to the next level it's a document that has content steeped in vision program, pragmatism and the quest to advance inclusive and participatory governance it speaks to the aspirations thank you it speaks to the aspirations of our people their dreams and their shared prosperity while confronting our reality as a county it is worth noting that for the first time in the history of our democracy a detailed manifesto outlining the agenda of political candidates has been launched in our county forming the development blueprint for the next five years will be driven by the agenda and not just by the quest for power without vision in Turkana. ladies and gentlemen honorable members Turkana county is strategically and geopolitically important since it borders Uganda, South Sudan and Ethiopia. It also Marsabit, Baringo and West Pokot counties. Moreover, the counties along the Lapset corridor make it an important and regional integrated wind energy, solar, geothermal potential, 
mineral resources, fisheries resources, by diversity and human capital. It is important to know that Tukana natural resources are key to unlocking its economic potential. In 2013, the Tukipi Aquifer was discovered by UNESCO, and as you know, it is a 240 billion cubic meters, I think the largest in Tukana after uh, the Napu one. However, the test for the aquifer found the water to be salty, salty for human consumption during desalination. Despite the untapped mineral and fisheries resources, there's a small fishing and extraction of mineral, of minerals like gold, clay, limestone, gypsum, garnets, along with others in the county. Furthermore, oil was discovered in Lokitia Basin in Turkana in 2012. The county has high erosion and, and the surface water potential that has been fully exploited. Moreover, harvesting of uh, surface runoff is mainly through low volume of water pump. The potential and actual gains from these resources and ventures is further augmented by the 12 billion that is dispersed annually by the national government as share, shareable revenue to the county of Turkana. Ladies and gentlemen, the current county administration has not achieved meaningful economic development despite the enormous resources potential and a total of one. It is hard to know that Turkana County has the highest poverty and equality rate of 79.4% compared to the national average of 31.6%. Households and counties suffer from low availability and access to food resources, resulting in high levels of chronic and acute food insecurity and malnutrition. The healthcare in Tukana County falls short of national home norms and standards of the universal healthcare. Children in Tukana are less are likely to access primary education with only 50% enrollment compared to the national average of 92%, 0.5% while illiterate. The mean distance to the nearest water point is against the minimum requirement of 0 0.5 kilometers, making it a water source scarce uh, count. Moreover, Turkana County has been experiencing innocent attacks from neighboring counties at the international borders with Uganda, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. Currently, Turkana County is, is poverty and led to corruption in Kenya. The current government has perpetuated this and the time to end this, this suffering and shame is now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to achieve the Turkana we want, our government is committed to transform its county into a middle-income economy through economic prosperity, skills development, and good governance. The central focus for this manifesto is to eradicate extreme poverty and creation of jobs in agriculture, trade, and enterprise development, service sector, increasing access to safe and water. Our government is also exploring measures to promote peace and security within Turkana County through coordination security agencies, national security agencies, and strategic collaboration with neighboring states. We will do this through governance system that allows of the residents of Turkana. The legacy projects that will transform Turkana County include decentralization of services, implement of Turkana rehabilitation and livelihood, and livelihood support programs, development of a blue economy that is increasing food security through irrigation and aquaculture, mechanized farming and provision of farm inputs provision of quality health care through the uni universal health coverage, one construction of a level six hospital in Turkana, addressing water scarcity 
through building of mega dams, desalination of water from the Rotikipi aquifer, drilling of bowls for, for education, access to education, through establishment of model ECD and TVET centers, provision of basic education bursaries, development of livestock and pastoral economy through building of livestock centers and ranches, livestock laboratory project, mapping and protection of livestock grazing fields, on environmental and protection and sustain sustainable land utiliz utilization through issuing of title deeds, indigenous vegetation projects, indigenous projects, promoting use of green energy, establishment of wildlife conservancies, and through programs and formation of artisanal mining cooperatives. We will make corruption to be a high risk. And I want to repeat this. We will make corruption to be a high risk activity within the government and work towards eliminating it within the public service. We will diligently continue implementation of the Chapter 6 applying ICT to remove as much human discretion in public financial management. We will work to grow the private sector through pro prompt payment of supplies, contractors, and elimination of problems pending bills, pending bills characterizing the we have drawn up a comprehensive program to grow our economy and make sure that no part of the county is left out. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. Let us go to every place. Spread the story of our good news. Tell the young people, students, about the announced education bursaries, job opportunities skills training programs. Tell them there will be opportunities for all. Tell them. Tell the pastors they will benefit from availability of water, pasture, productive pastors. To fishermen, the blue economy will be part of the, will produce enough food to feed our people. Minorities will be part of this government. I have minority. Minorities will be part of this government and we will work towards building one county. Tell everybody that this is a battle to save Turkana, Turkana County, and restore the dignity of our people. The whole entirety of the Jubilee Party and aspirants will be living here with all the reasons we, with all the reasons we have our clear development agenda and sense of, of uh, mission. I encourage you all to study the manifesto and fought for the Jubilee administration in the next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, the technical committee headed by Mr. Harris Lothike and Dr. Albert Longora, the head of school and team for supporting us, for supporting this document. I want to thank you for being in the media. I want to thank you in the media sector for attending this important uh, 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 function. Finally, I want to thank the Almighty God for keeping us safe and, and uh, raining these blessings to us each and every day closer to our victory. On this note, honorable members, invited guests, my brothers and sisters, I declare my 2022 manifesto officially launched. Your launch, Nataka kwa shukuru kwa hili hafla, siku ya leo, na wa shukuru kwa sababu mekaa metuongoja, na ikafika wakati tumesema machache kwa ukweli manifesto hii ni manifesto yetu sisi wana watukana hii ni manifesto tumeiweka manani tumefikiria pamoja nime na wengi 
kwa sababu Turkana inahitaji mabadiliko. Turkana is the face of suffering. Ukiweka television ni Turkana ndio inaonyesha tahabu watoto waendi shule wako uchi. Tahabu yote ni Turkana. Inabidi tubadilishe sura ya Turkana. Na mimi nikasema siwezi nikasema mambo tu ni lazima niweke kwa kwa document. Na hiyo document itakuwa ni document wanatukana wote kujua kama mimi nimefanya yale nilisema. Nikisema tukana sisi sote tunatukana. Makabila nyingi hapa iko ni tukana. Watukana wa Samburu, nani wa Masai, wa Kikuyu, wa Jaluo zote tuko hapa. Ile jua inamchoma mtukana ndio ile inamchoma mjaluo hapa tukana. Kwa hivyo asimio ili tuweka pamoja. Ha? Ili tuweze kusaidiana pamoja. Tukana is full of potential. Tukana ni pale ina rasilimali nyingi. Mimi ningefikiria namna hii kwa baada ya miaka tano Lodwa Town hiyo mji mkubwa hiyo city tuweke infrastructure ya kutosha sababu sura ya tukana ni Lodwa tutakuwa na mji hapa tutakuwa na barabara nzuri tutakuwa na security nzuri kwa sababu Lodwa imepanuka imekuwa town mkubwa tutakuwa na stadium jioni twende tucheze mpira tutakuwa na international airport hapa kwa na maji ya kutosha shida ya maji tukana na lodwa bali tuna mtu hapa ya takweli ni haibu kwetu na mimi kama governor nitahakikisha at interval of 1 km along the river tutakuwa na na ball na maji itasambaswa upande zote ya mti na hii ni kaunti ya ufugaji tutaboresha maisha ya mfugaji It cannot be development for towns alone. We must develop pastoralist to fulfill the distance ya maji. Wewe na maji ya kutosha. Mifugo yao izikufe. Nitaanzisha TRP project ya zamani na drought contingency planning unit. Kwa kisha ma drought and famine, anze kufanya mambo ya ufugaji na mashamba hapa. Hii hi mchanga inakaa bure bila ukulima tunaweza tukatoa hiyo maji na tutoe chakula ya kutisha tukana. Mheshimiwa Raila our presidential candidate aliniambia lazima tuwe hospital. Watu wengi wengi wanakufa hapa wakienda Eldoret kutafuta dawa. Presidential candidate wote wamesema baba amesema lazima tulete hiyo hospitali hapa Lodwa ili tufupishe na tubadilishe taabu ile tunakosa hata fair baya nani eh, pesa ya kuleta maiti tukana na nikisema rasilimali tukana ina mafuta ina madini tunataka ma cooperatives madini hapo makutano blue savaya kule kankurdio gypsum hapa tukana south tumepata pia copper na iron ore hiyo hata inashinda mafuta. Turkana itabadilisha kiuchumi na itasaidia nchi ya Kenya kupata rasilimali nyingi. Saidi nchi ya Kenya kupata rasilimali nyingi. All the way to Lamu. Na hiyo kazi ndio mimi najua vizuri, nimeifanya juzi wakati wangu ikaicha. Sasa nitaifanya kama governor wa Turkana. Wa Turkana tulimaliza eh, wanyama wa pori na mimi kwa wakati wangu nataka nilete mambo ya conservancies tuwe na eh, na ranches so ranches national game reserves na tuweke conservancies ili watoto wetu waanze kuona giraffes buffaloes na wanyama wote wale wamepotea zimetarudi hapo utalii itaanza kuingia tukana na wataenda hapa lektukana kule lektukana tutakuwa na tourism elek 
kupita uvuvi huko wengine watatembea kule mpaka river omo maisha yatakuwa mzuri na tukiendelea tu na hiyo hiyo lengo ya kuhakikisha hela yatukana pesa inayokuja ina tukana na yawafadhili usiwe na wakora hapa fikiria watakuja kwa serikali ya ya Mwenyezi na e, na Rastas na Elomenen na, na mama hapa yani unakuja kutavuta corruption that is a thing of the past it will be corruption free zone pesa ikikuja hapa ni ya kulisha watu kana ni ya maendeleo ni ya kuleta ma, uh, madawati kwa madarasa ni ya ujenzi ya madarasa ni ya hospitali hospital mishahara ili watu wasikose mishahara kwa mwezi mbili nataka mshahara ikifika mwezi 30 tarehe 30 watu walipe mshahara watu wapatie pesa yao aki yao wakifanya uh, 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 tenders kwa serikali na hiyo yote ni bure kama mtanichagua nichagua niweke usewevu yangu kwa ile kazi najua na nimefanya kwa mawizara mimi nilichaguliwa na ndina nisema vile mwanzangu amesema nikawa mbunge wa opposition under Ford Kenya 1997 ilikuwa ngumu kushinda wakati huo in 2003 nikawa assistant minister nikafanya mwisita peke yake nimeandika vile nilifanya yale nilifanya nilifanyao tukana na wakenya wote including lawasco mimi ndio nileta lawasco hapa hii lawasco mnatumia hapa mimi ndio nileta i created kisumu water company i created uh, nairobi water company na nikaweka moja hapa tukana ndio governor mwingine anasema sijafanya kitu under minister of water balls ngapi nileta directors wa ngapi wa tukana niweka minister of state in the office of the president in charge of special programs ni expand arilands program ni kaandika vijana wengi hapa sipendi kutaja watu majina ni expand arilands for 13 ni kilivi eh, lamu all those places nikaongeza under special programs i was in charge of national health control council nikiwa national health control council i did the five year strategic plan the best plan in africa nikaipeleka mpaka toronto nikachaguliwa then nikapeleka labor i served as a labor minister during which time i served to kaenda uchaguzi geneva i did the five labor laws kwa tukana wengi waliniambia ujaandika watu nikasema kazi ya labor sio ni kuchunga kazi ya wana Kenya In in labor I put a record I was elected in the ILO United Nations ILO the governing council member for Africa for five years I served as an, an ILO member Basi nikamaliza nika unajua wote vile tulifanya Nili petition hii county Governor Professor Malike Kalaje petition za mara moja I did three petitions He has not done even one I served and supported the cause of the Tukana people. Basi uchaguzi uchaguzi kakuja nikashindwa kwa ukora ile ile mnajua vizuri niliibiwa kura mnajua Then nikachaguliwa waziri cabinet secretary. Cabinet sector petroleum kazi yake ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha Kenya imeingia kwa ligi ya mafuta. Mimi sikuingisha Kenya the first hali oil for kenya to be a member of uh, the oil producing countries came during my time came during my time the only thing i was not able to do was to commercialize the crude you to pay your 5% what wanasema hiyo 5% ingepatikana wakati tutatoa mafuta from southern lokicha to the port of lamu nikabembeleza lamu wakakubalia mchanga we got the land tukakuja meru wa meru wakakubali nikakuja isiolo isiolo ikakubali kutoa mchanga 
nikakuja Samburu ikakubalika kufika hapa tukan anaoka kaenda kotini so ikachelewa hicho lakini sasa hiyo ni kasi yangu mafuta yatashika sisi tuanze kupata hiyo 5% yetu wote tukana leo pete atamari akwarna ekite gavana na yala bole ubwai onya akwarna ayo ne mutrukana ayo ne te mutrukana mela anko kolak mer tu anko kolak roto kone da ke te gije urin kar kan tuma urin tuma ha kot kot bele te mutrukana ere ke tulo ayo ne ta kora mutrukana ni dey o tol tol sul ma ki piko ta na baraneo ekra ta kene alomunea ka pedo ko to digi ni atamar yo na enter dentro kana ko la mayo dentro kan ani alomunea yo ngo ko to digi ni atamar lo muto woni yo dentro kan ani alomunea yo ngo to de nyang ni edo be gezi ngo to lo te gara sudan sa sudan ni 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 ya paka ata yang paka dan ke apuna te yana e ka ta ga banole ga rugi ngolo ada king bare ne wara taxi ne bare ne trugana e dia arai akiara trugana trugana da ngota ka mu e mam nga ki pikete e mam tane na ngenta da wala te ngono e la rete trugana gona ada ki a yong e wa gizi e rotolo nga rete ngoto ngono ele le ta ki bira trugana alo trugana le ta namia trugana keria kuta ele tena ji na otra jele ta ta ana mi ka guru tuga otikibia tamamo eto an ratakini pele bune ra kumja anya mi tikutunga gora ya khata ba gyanga do bagni ke dimulo krata kana ngi pina kala mu tikutunga ngi peguna ke tata tele muna ta ke mojo na itemokuno ke tana ra Abalana wala nyangana mera ka bon harayo, wala kalo ketang, kalo kalo ka pedo, kawa dang, ike nyukini wala dang, ike diwa kudu dang kasuku kanso lo beldas, nang wala nyanga na ike ngi chana ngutunga, me ni wala mera na bayin to gulo inga bayin to ngaba ruwa pura dang, kalo mara ala kara, tanya mi to ngutunga koro. Lutia ka ama imu kutu kone kana lutawone mer na ngole nyanga ngata wone abon ngoi kine tia takutana kurawona ngoi nita ngai jang baran jang tunga yok era na ngole nyanga ngata wona kara ngai na kana ngata wone ama ndi leo keti na kana ngara jada na keti iti ribure leo mer na ngole nyanga ngile kobon yodi yaka rutan be zona lete ne na ngole nyanga ngaber era mita ngaber na kurana na ada kia ngaber ni kala ni Naka na ki yao, susa na leja, susa kupa tia na fasi yo, ki ngara ngaberu kon, gu mana bon, e di ngara gini te zua, e chenda ta kurana, na me re akura abul ya, to nyo wuji gi ni ata ma dulu di yongo, a e won turukan, e joko na ngara gini te aku, asante sana, e ili sasa kwa kirasmi, gaba na weze kuzindua manifesto. Madam Margaret please kuja peana hii haraka haraka tafadhali time aweze kukata alafu tukikatu hapo chini kutakuwa na shamra shamra kidogo kwa hivyo kama kuna maua itakuja tulia tu hakuna danger so patie governor eh, sisa aweze kukata Then, ya governor wa pili ya county ya Turukana mheshimiwa John Munyes Kiyonga Asante sana, asante sana. Bas. Asante sana. Give everybody a copy, eh? Give everybody a copy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sasa eh I manifesto kunazo 
kubwa ya hii ambayo iko na details zote ndani yake. Hii ni simplified version na abridged version ya hiyo manifesto ili iwe ni summarized version. So zile kubwa pia zitakuja na pia digital versions zitakuwa online ili muweze kusoma. Kwa hivyo manifesto ya Mwenyezi iko na agenda kumi. Kumbuka tu hiyo ukitembea. Agenda zake ni kumi na zote ni ya kubadilisha Turkana County kwa hizo miaka tano. E, Governor Mwenyez, ili tuweze kufunga e, e, Susan pia karibu. E, tusaidie hiyo ceremony nyingine. Tuweze kukata keki. Margaret bana. He. Saidia women rep na governor hiyo process ya cake cutting. We want to do it properly this time. Kisiko hapo. Yes. Eh yes. yes. e, yule anataka kupiga picha anaweza fanya kwa sasa kabla hatujakata. So keki imeandikwa Governor JMK Manifesto 2022. Na sasa anaanza kukata makofi, 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 makofi. Makofi na shamra shamra na vigelegele. Bas. Viongozi na waheshimiwa turukana ama wananchi wa Turkana County safari ya kuelekea Kanan imeanza kwa kishindo imebaki siku tisa peke yake tuingie Kanan Central ndani ya hiyo town ya Kanan so eh, tunashukuru sana mtu atakuwa na kopi moja moja usome vizuri uende vijijini huko mali mnaishi muweze kuelewesha watu wetu Ndiyo tufunge hiyo ceremony kwa sababu the next phase ni kwenda media interview pale nje nitamkaribisha media briefing nitamkaribisha ndugu yangu um, JB Eris aweze kutoa photo of thanks na tufunge hii eh, ceremony phase one before to talk nje hmm? you want to okay. okay strategy team you can start it. Yangu ni machache. Uh, jambo la kwanza ni kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Tutulie tafadhali. Langu ni machache. Ya kwanza ni kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kufaulisha siku ya leo bwana John Mwenyezi kwa kuzindua manifesto yake. Tuna mshukuru uh, Gavana wetu mtarajiwa kwa kutuelekeza kwa njia ambayo itabadilisha Turkana. Tunasema asante. Hayo ni maono ambayo Turkana itabadilika. Na ile aibu tulisema hapo awali kwamba inahusishwa na Turkana inaweza kutokomea. Pia na shukuru viongozi wote ambao wamekuja hapa kwa siku ya leo the council of elders advisory council the county strategy team na makundi mbalimbali ambayo yamekuja hapa leo kushuhudia kuanzisha manifesto ya leo na sana tutembee hii safari pamoja na kabla kushinda kura hatuta implement manifesto manifesto ndio hiyo maono ni mazuri Mango nzuri ambayo tunajua tukitekeleza itabadilisha turukana lakini bila hizi kufanya kazi bila hizi kufanya kazi na kushinda kura hai yote tumezungumza siku ya leo yatakuwa ya bure kwa hivyo tafadhali na wahimiza tufanya kazi ili tarehe kumi tuwe tunafurahi zote tukianza kutimiza malengo ya hii manifesto asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki
Haya waacha tuchukue hii nafasi sijui kama mkate ya ushindi ya bwana gavana John Munyesi Kionga. I think ningependa tuchukue hii fursa tusimame kidogo tumshukuru Mungu. Tafadhali tufungie mkutano kwa maombi. Asante. Tu Keti. Uh, ningeomba kwamba wale sisi wale wengine tutaketi nyuma na gavana na timu yake wa watatoka nje kwa photo session hapo kwa Nyasi pamoja na watu wa media. Tafadhali tukifanya hivyo itakuwa ni mzuri. Lakini kama bado na mumunya mumunya keki, tafadhali malizia. Watu watu waende kwa kusesha. Amuro kwa ya, uni confusion. Ya, uni confusion. Kwa ya pote mtuwane, kala mtuwane kama. Bas, mutulie kidogo. Tafadhali Cameras off Aya Thank uh, the Jubilee team For giving us a platform For recognizing us As Chocha TV To come and broadcast This beautiful event Ya yeah, Honorable John Munez Kionga launching his manifesto. We are very, very proud, Kionga. We are very, very glad you remembered us. Na, us is just simple. We want, you to el we want you to elaborate more about the manifesto that you've learned because this is the first manifesto. So far, there's no any other person when you a launch from the four candidates. Uh, none that I know or maybe they are planning to do, we don't know. Uh, we've seen Honorable Munez elaborating further uh, Mambo na manifesto yake. Uh, I, I captured some things about blue economy, talking about inclusivity, youth, and I'm so proud and I'm so glad, Pia, you are recognized, you are part and parcel of the, the authors, I'm the people who are the brainchild, yeah, he manifesto. As a youth man in Trukana, we are, we are, we are, we are saying thanks. Na karibu. So, in two, three minutes, we want you to elaborate further so that our viewers wajue ni nini mwishimua. Karibu. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this evening for the launch that we've had. A very historical evening for the Trukana community. Uh, county. It has never happened before. It means that we are the moment we have leaders who want to share the agenda they have for us with us even before getting into an election it means we have leaders who have a plan and a structured way to deliver what they allowing us to interrogate the document to interrogate the plans make our input and see if it resonates well with what we think about our people as professionals as young people and as members of the Trukana community. Just as I said, the document here that I have here today 
We are going to distribute this document across the county. We've had representatives from different sectors uh, in the hall, from uh, fisher folk groups, from livestock uh, traders, from uh, fresh fish, uh, fresh, uh, fresh, fresh produce market. We've representatives from youth, clergy, and all the categories they have been here. Uh, just to give you an highlight of how this started. This is a journey that started about six months ago. We didn't just wake up in the morning and decide that this is what we want to have for the Turkana people. It's a conversation that has been built on consultation. We've had a number of meetings around the community, number of meetings with different groups, trying to understand the kind of Turkana they want to see, the kind of Turkana they want to build, the kind of Turkana they want to be part of. And that is what has informed this document. It talks about the blue economy, the green economy, it highlights how this lake can be of more benefit, can be of more value to us as a community. Not just for recreational activities, not just for sports and not just for swimming, but how it's going to change the economy of our community. It, talks, uh, it, it highlights about the green economy. You all understand that Trukana County has potential of producing goods, of producing food, only if we have enough water, only if we are going to utilize permanent rivers within Trukana, if we are going to focus so much into the agricultural sector. That is what is in this document. And I'm asking young people to interrogate this document well, to read the 10-point agenda. Don't just read the outer cover of it. Read it in detail. Internalize, interpret it and to help us to educate our people back at the community. And Will, I can tell you, the reason as why you see it's only Munez who is doing this, it's because he's ready to take the mantle. He is the right man for the job. These other guys cannot even think about this. They cannot even do it. They have no plan. It's about talking how Munez is experienced. I don't know how, how Munez has been working with the government. That is their agenda. That is their manifesto. You hardly hear the plan there for the Trukana people. You've never seen them regrouping, even to call a meeting of 10 people to tell us the agenda they have for our community. That is the difference between them and Munez. I think today it is a score. It has opened our eyes as young people from Tukana, as the Tukana community, and we know what we want, the kind of person who can take us to where we want to be in the next few years. So ladies and gentlemen, even as we approach the electioneering period, Interrogate the kind of person you are with. Wakati ya kukula pesa imeisha, toa yo shati ya pesa sasa. Piga kura kwa maendeleo. Piga kura kwa kiongozi ambaye ni bora. Piga kura kwa yule mta ambaye unajua hanakuja kubadilisha mtazamo wa Turkana County. Piga kura kwa yule kiongozi ambaye unajua hako na agenda you as a person and the community as a whole. Iyo ndo nitaomba. Tumekula pesa. Pesa za naputikan. It's time now. Now I order my team ambayo imekuwa kwa Jeremiah ambayo imekuwa kwa Lodepe it's time now to put your real faces wakati ya kukula pesa imeisha. Mtoke huko sasa. Mkuje mkuje tu tujenge serikali. Asante sana. Before you go we want to know will you uh, pardon cause we're having a debate on 31st and 30th. 30th, we have the DG's debate. We hope your DP, your DG will come through. And we hope uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one talk with Mwashimio. Uh, Kasema, you will tell us on a serious note. Because we want, we want to debate. We want to debate. We want to know among us the four, who is the right person in terms of intellect, earning the mind, the intellectual, the brain, the composure, the everything, the manifesto. Because we hope you are going to distribute this manifesto. Expect other candidates to what are to invite. We come see when they launch their manifestos, so that we discuss the team to our debates. The only thing we discuss in our debates are agendas and manifesto, which we hope uh, the rest of the team, uh, the other candidates. What are to be appear manifestos or if they want to launch, invite us, we come, we launch it for you. 
Then to compare in notes za kina kionga na notes zenu. Which one is going to serve to kana better? Uh, Dahil, I think this is the beginning. This is to tell you that we are ready for the job ahead of us. We are ready to serve the Trukana community. We march towards the future with a lot of optimism that one day, one time, we are going to have the Trukana we've desired for a very long time. Kwa sababu tumemaliza hii kazi, na tumerelease hii document, siku ya leo jioni, nitaiachilia document. Nitairelease. Ienda kwa Trukana, wasome, wa interrogate professionals, waweze kuelezea jamii ya hile ambayo kwa hapa ndani, tutazunguka kwa radio zote, kuelezea jamii mamba ambayo kwa hapa, tumemaliza hiyo part, kisha, pati ya pili kesho jioni nitashare documentary ambayo itakuwa online kuwaelezea mipango yetu mbona Turkana inadhamini Munyes na mbona Munyes is the right person for the job tukimaliza hiyo tunakuja hiyo debate na mimi naambia hawa ndugu zetu hao wenzetu ambao wako UDA wako ODM mkuje na hizo CV mkuje nazo na mkuje na Kiingereza pia if kama Kiingereza unajoi iko kombo haya kidogo Mwongee na hawa professionals vijana ambao mko nao wajaribu kwa train kidogo tupatane 31st. Sisi tuko tayari. Eh tuko tayari baba. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been our time. Uh, just to let you know. Sisi tunashukuru team Munyes for giving us the opportunity. This is the first time. We grow together. Yeah. We grow together. Chocha TV on you tuko pamoja. Asante ni. Asante ni sana. We are so much independent. To make sure the information that gets to you ni on dot. We don't want to go rewrite videos or what. Our stream, real events, real news. Na mimi, for the first time, I'm having a closed door, a private uh, meeting. Ya Honorable Munez, aki converse na watu wake. And this is courtesy of their team. Uh, from Kiyonga, we say thank you from Chocha. God bless you. We wish you guys all the best. And we wish to see you guys on 30th and 31st. We are ready. Asante sana. Asante ni. That has been our time. Aya. Mmesikia, wana kuja na only 15. Na our 15 ni professionals, ujui strategies, ujui. Nasikia muna kwa pasta. Nasema ni. 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 That is his own Those are his own words Asanteni sana to you We say thank you so much For those who have been online For those who have been commenting For those who haven't liked our page Tafadhali like our page There is no any other place Utapata real time news It is Chocha TV and Chocha TV for you